Hello everybody and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Knott's Berry Farm which is opening on May 21st but we are here for the annual pass holder preview. Yeah. That's right. Unlike Disney, Knott's still has an annual pass holder program and it's only like $13 a month. It's like the best deal in theme parks. I know. And we get two weeks before it actually opens to, yeah. to enjoy the park before anyone else which is pretty cool. And not only that, if you get your annual pass they've extended it they usually do it by the year but it's gonna go all the way till May 2022 during the pandemic we've been here eating food at the food festivals but today the rides have opened yeah, so what are we waiting for let's go ride some rides come with us on this adventure <laughs> It is a hot day here today. I think for our first ride, let's get wet. Yes, let's go on the Calico River Rapids. We haven't been on this in such a long time. It's been a while. Usually I'm like, oh, I don't want to get wet, but today, bring it on, baby. <laughs> 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 you got that night. I told him. I am always me. the one to get wet on this, these type of rides. Oh no, 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 oh Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. 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 oh god. Oh. Not as bad as it, it, it could have been. Could have been much worse. Oh no. I don't oh, know no, what's no, coming. No, no, no. I don't know what's coming. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. We're relaxing. The glass is not that bad. Yeah. Oh. 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 And I'm always the one to get soaked, and it looks like finally, finally you got wet. My butt is completely <laughs> soaked. Do you want to do butt a butt check. check on that? Oh, oh my god. You guys, <laughs> you're just, just going to have to trust me. It is soaked. <laughs> I, don't I feel know. good though. I feel nice and like refreshed. Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah. Let's, let's find something to eat. Yes, let's go do that. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, oh yeah, we're okay? okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna get. You gave me a heart attack there. <laughs> My goodness. Mighty uh -oh. funny looking gun you got, mister. You get, he almost got I me. I had a heart attack. Like oh, I see. I tell you. They sure come soft in the city, don't they? Well, it's good talking with you, too. Hey, welcome talk. back, you guys. We love having you here. Yes, we're so happy to be back. Love having you here. Love the portrait that you're sporting, too. I know. Too. Isn't it nice? It's and I've got... Like I'm looking in double vision here. And then I've got my, my boysenberry... I know, I'm like all oh, decked look out at that. today. Isn't that so cute? I can't actually eat that. Can yeah, I? no. This one's not edible. But can I eat it? What are your names? My name is Kitra. This is Peter. We're Ordinary Adventures. Ordinary event? You yes. seem extraordinary to me. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, hey, even if you find adventure in the ordinary, you'll never be bored. That is true. All right. Well, thank you very much. I'm done with you. I'm sure we'll run into you again today. Oh, 
Uh, it wasn't me. <laughs> Welcome back. Look at the line for the Calco Mine Train. Seems like all the lines here today are a little bit. I mean, maybe they aren't as long as we think they are. It took a, like almost an hour to get on that the, the Calico River ride. Yeah. Because they were really, really spacing out the boats. From Strictly on a Stick, we got the boysenberry corn dog. It comes with French fries, and I was expecting this to be purple. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we asked them what exactly makes us boysenberry, and I guess it's in the batter. It's not in the hot dog itself. Mmm. Okay. This is good. If you look on the inside, you can kind of see like a little bit of a purplish hue. I definitely do not see it. Okay, I don't know if I'm making that up or... Uh, I just want it to be purple, okay? This is really good. It's not too overpowering. It's just like a little teensy weensy hint of sweetness. But it works well. I normally like to dip my corn dogs in ketchup. Don't come for me. That's people. blasphemy. I know. Everybody is like, if you put ketchup on a hot dog, you're the worst. <laughs> but uh, I purposely didn't get any condiments because I didn't want to taint the flavor. But this is really good. Definitely tasty. And I'd probably get it again. They should give you like some kind of like boysenberry dip. Yeah. Right? Knott's, what, what the heck? Knott's, if you're watching this, just, you know, get some of the, the jars of jelly and let us dip it in. Oh, or the boysenberry mustard. Ooh. Boysenberry anything. <laughs> Give me the boysenberry. One of the things I wanted to mention is we, not only did we get season passes to Knott's, but we also have the season long dining passes. And that costs an extra $132. But what that means is every time we come to the park, we can get two meals, which come with, you know, an entree and a side at, I think like 16 different places around the park. And this counts as one of our meals. Like if you're gonna come here at least like three, four times, that's like a deal and a half. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth it. Yeah, and I also got the all season <laughs> drinks, which to me is like worth it in one day because for like $33, you can get unlimited soda every 15 minutes. Awesome. <laughs> Knott's is like a great value. It is. The more I bite into this, the more I could taste the boysenberry. So I'm changing my rating from a four to a four and a half. I still wish there was some kind of dip, but. I, I also tasted it, and you, you can definitely taste the blood. It's, really, it's good. really good. Yeah. But it should be purple. <laughs> it should be purple, yeah. <laughs> Not to give, just put some purple dye. Yeah, that's all we need. And over in Fiesta Village at Fiesta Dog, I got the Lote Hot Dog, which comes with corn, mayo, cotilla, cheese, and chili powder. And as you know, I'm a connoisseur of a Lote. <laughs> This is true. Um, look at this. It, it looks uh, interesting. Actually, to me, it looks appealing. I know it could be like a little messy, right? I think it looks good. I'm, I'm expecting it to be kind of messy. Here we go. <laughs> so if you're thinking that w wasn't enough corn on there, a lot of the corn is underneath. Oh yeah. I was thinking that actually. <laughs> Oh my, god. oh my god, it's going. <laughs> it's like you with the uh, Reese's Pieces. I never thought I wanted a lote on a hot dog, but now that Knott's has given it to me, why eat a hot dog without a lote? <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, and I should mention that this also came, as with everything in the dining plan, came with an option of chips. And I got the Takis. Ooh, I've never yeah. actually had them. They're hot chili pepper and wine. They're really good. I, I've had them before, and I think you're really going to like them. Ooh, look at that. I'm sure everybody's had Takis before and everybody's like, he hasn't had Takis? Oh my God. They're spicy. This might be my new favorite chip. <laughs> oh, I love those. That gives a five out of five Peters. The Lote hot dog. I love it at like a four. I think it's a solid choice. Is it the best hot dog here at Knott's? It doesn't beat that um, boysenberry thing that they had at the Poisonberry Festival. But this is very solid. I am very happy with my choices today. One of our favorite rides here at Nussbury Farm is the log, the Timber Mountain log ride. I love it so much that I'm even wearing a shirt <laughs> that has it on there. And it was closed, but it looks like they just opened it. So 
I think we're gonna go on another water ride. Yeah, it looks like people were in it. <laughs> I know this knot is probably really well tied, but I would still be scared of waiting underneath that thing. So as it turns out, the lines here at knots don't just look like they're really long, they actually are really long. They are really long. It's the first day back, you know, they haven't been open in a year, and you know, things are just gonna be slower, slower than we're used to. But hey, at least we're gonna get wet again, right? That's exciting. If we ever get to the front of the line. <laughs>
Oh, we missed you. Oh, where's my? I've done my handkerchief. Hold on. <laughs> Ordinary Avengers is here. She's always crying. I know. <laughs> oh, oh my word! I told myself I wasn't going to cry, but then I did. Aww. Okay, okay, I'm back. It's okay. It happens. Trust it me. It does happen. Yeah. Just let it out. Let those tears flow. Oh, did y'all just get here? No, we've been here. We've been here all dang day. We've been here all day. I've been standing in between these two ghosts all day. Oh, oh yeah. What is? <laughs> that's what these little kids tell me. These are ghosts up here. Yeah, that's what it looks like, huh? Yeah, that, that makes staying at this hotel wholly different. Yeah. <laughs> as long as none of them carnival clowns come around here, I think I'll be okay. Oh, look out behind you there. Yes. <laughs> uh -oh. Carnival types. Oh my word. This summer's gonna be very exciting. Yeah. Yes. I have a feeling I might even be packing a pistol this summer. Vigilant! Vig vigilant. <laughs> this is good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Probably better than what you're drinking. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Clinkies and drinking! Oh yeah! <laughs> Pinkies up! Pinkies up! Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh my word, that's two pitas! Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. I know what I should have spent the extra five cents. I, th oh. I, th I thought you said that was the good stuff. Yeah, what are you going to do? Not as bad as that country, but it's it's right up there. <laughs> Did you see that the Ordinary Adventurers voted you as like one of the biggest moments in our channel history? That, I, you have honored me far beyond my accomplishments. <laughs> really, I don't do nothing but just stand up here and eat free food all day. But my word, I think you make, you are the thing that makes people happy. Oh. said it before, it ain't well, these adventures. you're a big part of it. I feel like we're family now. The two of you are the friends that everybody wishes they had. Aww. And that ain't no lie. It's true. Every day, not one day goes by where people ain't asking me, how many Peters do you give this? <laughs> how many Kendricks is this? All they here today. Every day, day. Every day. I have never seen that kind of attention from anybody. Well, the people love you too. Yeah, the people love you, we love you. Yeah. Well, Ordinary Adventures fans out there, the deputy mayor loves you, and I'm going to tip my hat to each and every one of you. Yes. And come on out and see us at Knott's Berry Farm this summer. We're going to keep that chicken extra crispy, and that pie is going to be real tasty. You uh, best believe that. <laughs> awesome. Let's amp things up a little bit. Where yeah. should we go on next? I think it's time to go on a thrill ride. I'm actually kind of scared, but <laughs> it should dry me off at least, right? Yes. Okay. I just heard the announcement, like the safety announcement. And it basically was like, if you suffer from motion sickness, do not go on this ride. So, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Why am I so scared? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. We're doing it. Oh god, you're very uncomfortable. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, I barely fit in this. I barely fit in this. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hi, Peter. He's about to go way up there. We're in there, we're good. You know what, at least I don't have to sit next to somebody because I'm like talking to myself and, oh. Hi, honey. Hello, my love. Farewell. If this is the last time that I see you, I just want you to know that I love you so much. And that, <laughs> you can't hear me. <laughs> You can't hear me. Oh god, I really am talking to myself. Oh god, why, why, why? Oh god, why, why, why? Welcome to the Supreme okay, Screen. Okay. While riding, please remain seated, keeping your head okay. back against the headrest at all times. Oh no. Thank you. Oh no, what do I hold on to? What do I hold on to? <laughs> oh no, no, oh no. <laughs> Just keep laughing. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Oh God, what do I hold on to? What do I hold on to? Why isn't it, why did it stop? Why did it stop already? <laughs> no. I almost threw up. I almost threw up. But, okay, we're good. Pro tip, maybe don't drink a beer before you go on this ride. Does my hair look okay? Does my hair look okay? Oh 
Todd, get me off of here. Get me off of here. Get me off of here. <laughs> I can't get off. And enjoy the rest of your day. It's not very fun. Okay, I think we need to get a little faster. Let's try a roller coaster. Maybe a little kitty roller coaster, but a roller coaster. Baby steps, okay? Baby steps. We gotta work our way up to the big boys. Yeah. So this ride looks a little bit like Goofy Sky School at DCA. I think we can handle it. Goofy Sky School is actually one of the scariest rides in all of the California Adventure. What, you don't I like always, those turns? It just, it feels like you're constantly gonna fall over the edge. Goofy Sky School. <sighs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> You're listening to King Not Radio, the only radio station in the Boardwalk area. That is the only radio station in the Boardwalk area. This is the K-Not News, and here are the stories we are currently following. This just in, famous balloon animal artist Mr. Twister was critically injured today while trying to set a world record for the number of balloon weenie dogs twisted in one 24-hour period. The record is currently held by Mr. Twister's arch nemesis and ex-wife, Helen Helium of Helena, Montana. Helen, who was in the crowd, waited until the 23rd hour when she demanded to know why her alimony payments had shriveled up. When pressed further, Mr. Twister exploded and flew out a window making this noise. We hear there's a special art show celebrating the 100 years of Knott's Berry Farm. We want to check that out and hopefully maybe we can get on one last ride. Let's see. There's one specific piece of art that I really wanted to check out. It is of the Calico Mine Ride by our friend Kate Carlton. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Look at it. The beautiful colors. And do you see anything familiar about this? If you look closely, you might spot some ordinary adventurers. It's me and Peter. How cool is that? She made a piece of art to celebrate the 100 year anniversary and she put us in it. Like it's honestly like I want to cry. It's so special. We're now part of Knott's Berry Farm history. Yeah, it's canon. <laughs> and I was I actually wanted to buy the original but somebody already bought it. It's sold. So um, somebody is going to have us in their house forever. Well, we can buy the prints for 30 bucks. Yeah, we're gonna have to. But isn't this so cool? It, it's honestly, like, this is one of the greatest honors. We wanna show you a couple of our favorite pieces. This one right here is the stand on the side of the road where the Knotts family started selling their boysenberries. And then I like this piece right here. It looks like it's laser etched. This piece right here, I think aside from the piece that we're in, is my favorite. Wow. It is three-dimensional. There's the knots right there. This is so cool. It's like a giant shadow box. And it has, just like that other one, it has a bunch of rides from past and present. Wow. This is gorgeous. And then I love like them like front and center. Yeah. Wow. It has like everything. And is, is this all hand painted? I can't tell. It looks like yeah. it. And they're like, it's all cut out and stuff. This is, must have taken so long. <laughs> look at this one. Yeah, I like this one. It's the famous Knott's K 
but if you look closer, which you always have to look closer, it's made up of everything that represents Knott's Berry Farm. Including the mayor. Oh, I didn't even see him there. <laughs> oh, I thought that's why you liked this one. No, yeah. no, but that is cool. I was wondering where is the mayor? He needs to be in more pieces. It's right there, Peter. Yes. It's right there. Check this t-shirt out. It looks like a Polaroid picture. And it says, I rode the original, and it is the original Knott's Berry Tales ride with some creepy, <laughs> creepy bears. I mean, I love them. Don't you get me wrong. You gotta love those vintage costume characters. Here's the question, though. If I get this t-shirt and I didn't actually ride the original, is that like, am I like a fake fan? Eh, I mean, you, you, you watch the POV on YouTube, so you kind of rode it. Okay, you didn't even do that. You, you listened to the podcast The Ride episode, so you kind of rode it. I saw some photos. I don't know. I just think this is so fun. I love it. It gets hot here in Southern California, and I just noticed this fan that they have that has Mr. and Mrs. Knotts and all the history behind them of the parks, including the Berry Tales. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm not used to theme parks, so I'm like a sweaty hot mess. This actually really helps. Does it, look, do it, does it look cool though? Of course. I might actually get it. I'm not even joking. You gotta fan yourself in style. You look great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See, she liked it. They made a ton of merchandise off of your friends. Is that new? I don't they know. They even have t-shirts. Oh my God. Look at this. Do we need that? <laughs> like... Oh, it's for like the little villages. Oh, you know is how, it? Yeah, you know how I wanted a Halloween village? Yeah. There's this company called Department 56, and I'm pretty sure this is for like those little villages. Yeah. So if I ever start my spooky town, I'm for sure gonna need one of these. <laughs> this is so awesome. And I think this is new because if you see on the packaging, it says Knott's 100th anniversary. Notice they also have a spirit jersey that we saw earlier, but it's in pink. So, you know, in case you're not gothic like I am and you want more color, they have it in pink. You can't talk about Knott's Berry Farm without talking about Snoopy. And they have a golden Snoopy. It's a collector's edition celebrating the Knott's 100th anniversary. <laughs> Why is he gold? I don't know. Oh my God, I like this Snoopy t-shirt. As Snoopy and Charlie Brown, it says together again and they're at Knott's. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I almost want it. Okay, am I finally gonna cry? <laughs> am I finally gonna cry? <laughs> See, I want to show this is together again, but it has like Sad Eye Joe and like the mayor hugging. <laughs> then I would really cry. I don't think those two would would hug. You don't? They don't, they don't like each other. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> Not related to the reopening, but I love how neon this tie-dye Snoopy Knott's Berry Farm t-shirt is. I wish I could pull off this bright, this brightness right here. You could. I could get this and wear my Disney hat. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. We have two minutes to get food. Do you think we can do it? I'm going to go to Panda Express since it's right here. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it. And that you return again very soon. Once again, the amusement area is now closed. We're literally the last people to get in line. They like, roped it off behind us. I've never walked faster in my life to get some orange chicken. So I got the double orange chicken with white rice and chow mein. That is my go-to order at Panda Express. What about you? Leave it in the comments below. Yeah, I got the orange chicken and the Beijing beef because I know what it's, I, I know where it's at. It's this one. <laughs> no, mine's better. Leave a comment down below which one is better. Lose the small ones, but win the big ones. Prosperity will soon knock on your door. Ooh. all of our loyal we say welcome back. So we didn't get on all the rides that we wanted to get on today, but guess what? We're gonna be back on May 21st for the grand opening. Yeah, we're season pass holders now, so we're gonna be back all the time. We're gonna do all the coasters, all the rides, eat all the foods. 
I'm not sure about all the coasters. <laughs> I know, I was just kidding, but yeah. we will be back. Yeah, the lines were long, but Knott's knows how to figure those things out. Taste of Calco, the first weekend was kind of crazy, yeah. but next weekend, it was everything was figured out. So I believe in Knott's, I love Knott's. Me too. If you want to see some of our previous Knott's adventures, we'll put the videos right over there. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons, that includes Claudio, Kelly Enos, Nathan Wharton, and Tabitha Rodriguez. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll, we'll see, see you on the, the next adventure. adventure.